Adding and subtracting rational expressions, expressions with variables, is pretty much the exact same process as adding and subtracting fractions. Okay? What we need is a least common denominator in order to combine everything. So the way that I find least common denominators is to factor out everything in the denominator to its most simplistic form. So by doing that, we'll do this example up here. 4 is 2 times 2, 10 is 2 times 5, and 12 is 4 times 3, or 2 times 2 times 3. So basically, looking at this, you figure out what you need. Okay, so I need for this, I need two 2's, a 5, and a 3. Okay, in order to accommodate every single denominator possible, I need these two 2's, which occur in the 12 and the 4, the 5, which occurs in the 10, and the 3 that occurs in the 12. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20, times 3 is 60. So my least common denominator for all of this is 60. Then what I need to do is make my denominator 60 for every single term. So to get 60 from 4, I need to multiply this by 15 over 15. To get the 60 for the 10, I need to multiply this by 6 over 6, and from the 12, 5 over 5. Okay. I'm not going to finish this one up because hopefully you remember how to do that, but basically what you end up with is 30 minus 6 plus 25, all over 60. Okay, same idea for with rational expressions, except instead of dealing with just numbers, you're going to be dealing with variables and factors and things like that. Okay, so looking at this, we have 12a squared and b, and we have 6ab. We need to find the least common denominator. We have a 12 and a 6, so I know that my smallest number is going to be 12. I have an a squared and an a, so I know I need at least two a's, and then b and b. So my least common denominator for this is 12a squared b, which is this term right here. So to make that out of this term, we need to multiply this by 2a over 2a, okay? Leaving me with 5. Once my denominators are the same, we can just subtract as normal. So we get 12 over 12a squared b minus 2a. A common mistake that people frequently make when dealing with this is you multiply by your least common, you multiply to get your least common denominator. And then typically there's a lot of simplification that can go on in the numerator. And so in doing that, people tend to leave off the denominator because instead of having to write this 12a squared b over and over and over again while we simplify this numerator, it's easier just to let it leave it off. I understand that. But you have to make sure you put that back in in the end, okay? If I say the fraction is 1 fourth, I can't just drop the 4 off and say that it's the same thing as 1. You really need that denominator there to round out your fraction. The same thing with this kind of problem, okay? It's okay in my book, it may not be in your teacher's book, to leave off that denominator while you work through the problem, but in the end, make sure you throw it back in.